we now return to Let's Play Afterlife. Uh, I'm going to show a few of the secrets, cheats, and Easter eggs. There are only a couple, but uh, for the big one, what you want to do here, and this is really not really a cheat or anything, this is more of a an Easter egg. Grief that is loud. Okay. Yeah, so this is an Easter egg, and you need to build it in hell and set it up like this in that pattern. And when you do, you get this. It's not a structure that souls actually exist in, I don't believe, but it is called the Mother Shack. This secret building is really cool. Okay, yeah, so this is just a developer's uh, Easter egg that was put in here. Well, I promised you a secret message, and here it is. What I believe. I believe, without reservation, that there is more to existence than the reality we are subjected to each and every day of our lives. I believe that we are more than the sum of our DNA and our memories, and that there is something immeasurable and immortal about all of us. I believe that when we die, this part of us, heck, let's just call it a soul, goes someplace else. Maybe it eventually comes back. Why do I believe these things? Because the alternative is too horrible to contemplate. If we are all just happy accidents of nature, randomly bouncing our way through a random universe, then I want nothing to do with it. A life without purpose, no matter how ne nebulous, whimsical, or inscrutable, is a wasted life, and a universe without purpose, no matter how nebulous, whimsical, or inscrutable, is equally useless. Well, that's my opinion anyway. Mike. P.S. I also believe in UFOs, Bigfoot, the resurrection of Christ, and the Loch Ness Monster, so you'd probably be well advised to take the above statement with a grain of salt. And, uh, that is, uh, that. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. It's just a cool little thing there. So, on to the cheats. Uh, I have mentioned... Well, actually, first, before I do the money cheat, let's do the other uh, secret cheat. And what you need to type in here is a capital S-A-M-N-A-X. Did I say that right? Let's do it again. You have to do it three times anyway. S-A-M-N-M-A-X. S-A-M-N-M-A-X. And there it is. You are typing in Sam and Max, and it summons Max. Well, a couple of them. Or, I suppose you could say it summons anthropomorphic, lagomorphic, I forget what it is. Anyway, it's Max. <laughs> and, uh, you've probably heard of the Telltale Games Sam and Max series, but there was actually... well, I mean, first of all, it's a comic book. It's an old comic done by uh, Steve Purcell, I believe, but anyway, LucasArts made an adventure game called Sam and Max Hit the Road. And uh, that was the adventure game prior to... well, prior to this game, I think it was made... 90... Well, I'm not going to speculate <laughs> because you're on the internet and you have Wikipedia, so you can go and find out when this happened, but, uh, yeah. The other cheat is to hold shift 4 two, one and that is the money cheat, and it will give you 10 million pennies. The catch is you can only do it five times because... Look at the size of that thing. 
I sense a great disturbance in the force. Where is it? There it is. Doing that cheat too many times will summon the Death Star. And, uh, you know what? Let me, uh... Let me put some stuff down real quick. Just so we can see it destroy it. Because why not? You can't actually click on it, I don't believe. Oh, come on. It's right there. What are you, what are you doing? Shoot it! Well, anyway, it does destroy things. Trust me on that. Oh, is it coming back? Maybe because it's not actually developed. Like it has no gate. Welcome. Now is it going to come? Come on. <sighs> okay, well, anyway. Um, as far as I know, that's it. At least that's the only thing I can think of right now, as far as cheats, secrets, and the like. Uh, we can... Here. We can look through the credits. And the credits actually have... I mean, it's very long, so we're probably not going to watch all of it, but uh, the credits actually have uh, concept art from the game. And it's pretty cool to see. It also... Uh, yeah, lead designer and uh, project leader, Michael Stemmel right there, guy who left the message. It organizes the credits in these circles, which is kind of cool. Anytime. Next one. There's the Heaven's Gate, right. Well, anyway, we're not going to go through all that. Um, I did promise to try and get the... Uh, let's start a new game try and get the everybody dies ending so let's try that uh, let's see I think we only have to fill them in just a little bit so now they have pottery oh and they expanded shoot they're expanding too fast stop it Irrigation. Now you can't just click it again because it says your influence is still active. So you have to basically wait a year. Yeah. And putting more money does not actually... I don't think it actually uh, influences them all the way. You know what? Let's try that. Let's... Uh, we have to use the money cheat. Don't use it too many times. Right, so let's click on that and tech it all the way up. Nope. <laughs> Spent 8 million pennies on pottery. Right. 
Okay, let's not do that. All right. Let's uh, influence the planet just a little bit. They now know pottery. And all their neighbors know fire. We want to make sure that their tech level keeps up. Let's uh, put in the cheat because we're going to need some money as this goes on. Okay, they know irrigation. They know boating. So we just need to wait until... Uh, no, damn, this is not good. We have to try and contain the growth. Because otherwise they'll spread and it will be very difficult to cause extinction. Or to have it happen, I should say. Philosophy, good, good. Philosophy. Philosophy. Navigation. Right. There we go. Industrialization. Endocrinologist, bacteriologist. Okay. Mass transit. Mass transit. Invent medicine. Um, some of these still are back. Aviation. Right, well, let's pick this back up. Nuclear technology. As soon as they learn to fly, they learn to drop bombs on each other. Okay, more aviation. More nuke. Gravity control. We just want to make sure we contain everything here. Gravity control leads to climate control. And more climate control, nuclear technology. Weather control. Climate control again. Advanced golf. There we go. They are as far as they will go. There's weather control, weather control. Still learning gravity control. Okay, they've gone to advanced golf now. Sire, this region is already at the pinnacle of scientific discovery, right? And that's what you get when you try and go further than advanced golf. Advanced golf, advanced golf. So we're just trying to get this one. And after another year here, they learned weather control. Okay, another year then, how about?
There we go. So everyone's set. We're not actually losing money because we have nothing in the afterlife, so... Let's just run things demonically fast until something happens on the planet. Okay, if it's a plague, that's not going to do it. What we are looking for are asteroid strikes. Okay, major war, which apparently set everyone back. Now, uh, there is a way to uh, have them die in a nuclear war. I just don't want them to start spreading. Because it just makes it that much harder. So we'll spend the money to get them all back up. Okay, gravity control only killed one person. It's immensely disappointing. Where are the meteor strikes? Why isn't gravity killing everyone? What? I kind of froze there in 1981. Well, shoot. Maybe I'll just let them have their wars. There's only 7,000. There we go. See, now that took out an entire chunk. And that is what we want, because that is the easiest way. There we go. Another way. Now, that is the easiest way to eliminate the population. There's another war. Yeah, there we go. Three more strikes. There's only 3,000 people on the entire planet. 4,000 on the planet now. Come on, we can do it! One more! I mean, really, when you think about it, that's awful luck. There we go. Boss? Your planet's dead. You really should have paid more attention to it. Now, all you have to look forward to is a slowly decaying afterlife. That's sad. Yep. And that ending is very difficult to get. And uh, you guys already saw the four surfers of the apocalypse. So, um, I don't think those. I mean, obviously Max goes from one end to the other, but I don't believe the Death Star disappears at all. It just keeps wandering. So that might be another way to lose. I imagine that a nuclear war would lead to that same thing, where no one's left on the planet. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of your afterlife because there would be no more souls coming in and you just have it dwindle away so uh, that is the end of the gameplay at least <laughs> until I maybe get the billion souls and then I'll just make a short video but uh, yeah that's the that's the end of the let's play I think it is an enjoyable game, but it is very obscure, very hard to come by. I mean, it was when I found out about it, and that was like the year after it came out, so... Unfortunate. It'd be nice if someone would remake the series. Maybe the guys who broke off to make Telltale games and all the other ex-LucasArts employees could consider something like that. I don't know. Anyway, 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching this LP. I will see you next time.